For more on the significance of today's announcement, we are joined by Dr. Jessica Justman. She's the Senior Technical Director and Associate Professor of Clinical Medicine in Epidemiology at the Mailman School of Public Health right here in New York. Thank you very much for coming on the program. Sure. So just how significant, important a development is this vaccine? This is very big news, I think, to have evidence that a vaccine might work and prevent HIV and give some protection against HIV is very exciting. We haven't had this before with HIV vaccines. Does it mean that we are now a lot closer to developing a real vaccine for AIDS? Possibly. It, it's a new strategy of using two different vaccines together that separately did not look so promising. And I think this new strategy means there's um, hope for using this in other populations mm -hmm. besides Thailand, where they did the study. Right. And of course, as you say, Thailand was chosen as, as the site of the trial. But is there anything that we can extrapolate from these trials for the rest of the world and how the vaccine might behave, say, for instance, in, in Africa or in other regions of the world? Well, I wouldn't expect this particular experimental vaccine to work in other parts of the world because they designed the vaccine to um, reflect the type of virus strains that you would find in Thailand. But you can use this same strategy in another part of the world. You'd have to rebuild the vaccine out of pieces that reflect the virus in other parts of the world. Is this going to change risky behavior? Well, that's a very good question. I think that a concern would be that it would not change anybody's risky behavior. And if people get a vaccine and they think they're protected and they increase their risky behavior, it could wash out any protection that this vaccine might offer. So we still have to have all of these messages about minimizing risky behavior going out at the same time as the vaccine information. Mm. And what happens next? I mean, now that this uh, vaccine has proved somewhat effective, Presumably, there'll be a lot more research into this. What are the sort of stages? Well, they'll need to update the vaccine. This trial took six years, and the technology that they used six years ago to develop the vaccine has been improved. So they'll change the technology for the vaccine. They'll change the schedule of how many doses for the vaccine. They'll try it, I assume, in other parts of the world with different strains of pieces of the virus. and. Um, They'll have to keep on giving this message that it doesn't affect people's behavior. People still have to think about the behavior for themselves. All right, Dr. Jessica Justman, thank you very much for joining us in the program. My pleasure. Thank you.